Welcome to the first tutorial video on our Desperados 3 level editing cheats. In this video we will talk about the setup you need to do before getting creative and we will also explain some of the basics of how the cheats work. The first thing you're gonna have to do is start Desperados 3 and pick the mission that you want to edit. In our case that's going to be the Flagstone mission and we're gonna load it right up. Now once we're in the mission we need to enable the cheats so we can work with them. For this we open the in-game options menu and type honorless. That should make that pop-up come up and that's exactly what we want and now we can start working. This town's got it rough. What we want to do next is clear the whole area of enemies that our level designers meticulously placed when we made the game. And you can do that by hovering over an enemy and pressing right shift and delete. This will cause the guards to despawn as you can see right here. And this way we can clear the whole area or maybe the whole map depending on how creative you want to get, of enemies that would interfere with our new setups. Now once we're done, we can quickly open up the minimap to see if there are any red dots aka enemies left in the area and then proceed. Now this is very important, we're gonna create a safe game now, but do not create a quick save for this, but do a hard save, a real save. This means that it cannot be automatically overwritten by other quick saves and you will not lose it later on and can always return to that part. Getting used to often making these hard saves when you're comfortable with your progress and want to save it is going to be important. Quick saves should be used for, well, testing stuff out mainly. But now let's get into placing stuff. To spawn something, you're going to have to hold the insert and right alt key on your keyboard and input a number combination. Using the code 01300, we have spawned a simple enemy at the location of our mouse cursor. Now, let's quickly save the game to show you how the quick save works. We're now going to insert another character, a poncho guard, using the code of 01600, again while holding insert and right alt. And now, if we press F8 to reload again, Obviously, the poncho guard is gone. So basically, you can use this as the normal fast save and load workflow you have in editor programs. But remember to make hard saves in between. Now, to the last step of this video, we want to add some player characters. And we're going to add characters that aren't in the mission. So again, while holding down the two keys, we're going to insert 02200 to add Kate and 02700 to add Isabel. And that's it, now you're ready to go. In the next video we're gonna talk about the essential thing of adding all types of enemies and creating a cool enemy setup, which is, well, one of the most important parts.